colleague from Louisiana, uh, a Congressman uh, John Fleming, a family practitioner. Uh, John? Thank you. Thank you, Phil, and thank you for having this get together. You know, Speaker Pelosi said that we only have to pass this bill to find out what's in it. And certainly dur during uh, the debate on this bill, we had uh, the President talking incessantly about all the wonderful things that we'd see. And here are some of them. He said we would have lower premiums. He said we would see more insurance options, more access to care, lower cost to employers and to government, and better quality care. And what have we found instead? When Speaker Pelosi was right, we have passed it and now we're finding out what's in it. Rate hikes among insurers of as much as 50%. And this is justifiable based on the actual impact that this law is having on them. This is not insurance running them up to make more profit. Less options. Employers are calling me throughout the district <coughs> telling me they have less options and more costs. We can expect to see soon, by virtue of the fact that this will actually increase those under Medicaid six, by 16 million, that instead of going to more primary care doctors, such as myself, they'll be packing emergency rooms where care is more expensive and the quality is lower for those who really need preventive health services. Skyrocketing labor costs for government through Medicaid and perhaps Medicare, and skyrocketing uh, labor costs with respect to uh, employers. And finally, uh, we expect to see as a result of the rules that are rolling out on this, to find a nice, friendly bureaucrat sitting between you and your doctor in his office. Uh, I uh, pledge to you, and I'm sure my colleagues agree, that as soon as we Republicans take back the House of Representatives, we're going to begin the process to unwind, to choke off, defund, and eventually repeal this horrible bill, which is now law, and then replace it with common sense reforms, the kind of reforms that will once again Hello? put the decision making right there in the exam room between the doctor and the patient, and once again taking the bureaucrat away. And also let me say one last thing. Let us not forget that one of the first things this bill does is to cut a half a trillion dollars out of Medicare, Medicare services for our senior citizens. That, in my opinion, should be the first thing we restore is putting the half trillion dollars yeah, yeah, back yeah, into that yeah. and stop uh, messing with the goods and services that our senior citizens are entitled to under this program.